All right, so you have purchased the brand new Apple Magic Keyboard. And the reason you got this keyboard is because it is going to convert your iPad into an actual laptop. And of course, one of the major highlights of this uh, Magic Keyboard is the actual trackpad that you can see right here, which allows you to interact with your iPad with the trackpad without having to even touch the screen. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys every single thing you can do with the trackpad so you can use this iPad as a laptop. So let's dive in and learn all the various gestures available uh, with the trackpad right over here and see if you can actually use it without touching the screen as a laptop. If you already have a Magic Keyboard, this is gonna be a great tutorial to learn everything. And if you don't have it, again, if you're deciding to buy, this should allow you to make that decision. Let's dive in. All right, so let's dive in. So here's the trackpad, and as I put my finger on you can see the little cursor move around on the actual screen. So that's great. Now, when I go over here into the settings, that's the first thing I'm gonna show you guys. If you go to the settings, uh, I wanna go into the general settings right over here. By the way, if you wanna scroll up and down on the screen, you use two fingers to go up and down just like this. It's gonna be natural scrolling. Anyway, back in the general section over here, we can go into our trackpad settings. And from here, what I can do is I can change the tracking speed so I can make the cursor move faster or slower. So I would go for fast because the trackpad is small. So when you do it like that, it's easy to traverse and the entire iPad, no problem. And then you have the option to enable or disable natural scrolling, tap to click and two finger secondary click right from here. And if I, of course, if I go back to general, I can also go to the keyboard, and from here I can do all the keyboard options right over here. Now I will let you know, if you wanna go back to your home screen, you're gonna be using your three fingers. So all you do is swipe up with three fingers real quick, boom, it drops you onto the home screen. Now you did purchase this keyboard, the Magic Keyboard, because of the trackpad, but I'm gonna give you a quick tip regarding the actual keyboard. So the keyboard has a lot of shortcuts. To know what the shortcuts are, all you have to do is press and hold the command key. And that's gonna show you all the available shortcuts that you can perform with the command key in combination with any one of these keys. For example, command space brings up the spotlight search. And then command home puts you back into the actual home screen. And of course, if you go into your notes application, uh, the command button is context aware. So now when I press and hold the command button, I'll see many more shortcuts as you can see on the screen. So just a quick tip. Now, if you're inside an application, again, if you wanna go home, swipe up with three fingers to get dumped onto the home screen. And then let's say you wanna go and interact with your control center. You can simply grab the cursor, go all the way up to where your battery percentage meter is on the top, it's gonna merge with that area. When you click it, it's gonna bring your command, your control center, and you can interact with this as if you were touching it with your finger, all right? Very similar. For example, if I wanna expand this area right over here, I just press and hold, and it's gonna expand that, and I can even press and hold and expand it further. So it's just like using your fingers, but you're using the actual trackpad area. Now, the other thing I wanna show you guys, if you wanna bring up the notifications panel, the, the today screen, all you do is grab the cursor and just go up. Just go up, it'll come right down, all right? Very easy. When you wanna get rid of this today screen, again, three fingers, boom, it's gone. Now, if you wanna switch between different home screens, again, you use two fingers, just like that. Swipe back and forth between various home screens that you have. If you want to access your spotlight search, Two fingers, boom, down. When you're done, three fingers up, takes you back to the home screen. So left, right, down, up. Now what if you're inside an application? Let's just go over to application. By the way, take a look at the cursor. As you come close to anything that's interactable, it merges with that thing. If I go over here to the uh, folder, it's gonna merge with the folder. I can click it, it's gonna expand it, and I can select whatever I want. But let me just launch an application. When you launch an application, the dock disappears at the bottom. So to access the dock, you can use a keyboard shortcut, or what you can do is you grab the cursor and you just go down. As you pull it down, as you pull this down, the dock will come up automatically, and from here I can access the dock no problem. 
And one more thing, if you have a bunch of applications just launched and you want to switch between your applications full screen to full screen, this time you're going to use three fingers to swipe between various applications that you might have uh, running in the background just like this. This time, three fingers. When you're in the home screen, two fingers uh, to go back and forth just like this. You can also hover the cursor over apps or folders. So if I were to go over an app and then press and hold, it's going to bring up that additional actions screen. So that's the same thing as if you press and hold with your finger, which brings up the additional actions. You can do the same thing with the cursor and the trackpad. Again, again, highlighting the fact that you don't have to touch the screen to do anything. You can convert this whole thing into a laptop just by using the trackpad. Press and hold. There we go. Fantastic. Now, if I were to go into an application, uh, let's just go to Safari. Again, very easy to scroll up and down just like this, but you can also access things like pinch to zoom. So I can pinch like this to zoom in and then pinch in to zoom out. All right. So all these options are available. You can do the same thing over here or you can do the same thing over here. That's just great because it eliminates the need to actually touch the screen. You can do everything right from here. All right. Now, let's say I'm over here and I want to do some split screen multitasking. Again, very easy. You can do slide over or split screen. It's up to you. No need to touch the screen. You grab this, uh, you grab up the dock. You just go down, it comes up. Let's just grab this calculator application. First, I'm going to do split screen multitasking. All right, so I'm going to grab this, drag it over, and now I've got split screen multitasking. If I want to get rid of it, I come to the middle. Instead of using my finger, I bring the cursor right over here, press, slide away. So I'm back into one app. Other thing I can do is if I go over here, I can grab the calculator and just dump it right here. Now I get to slide over. Go back to the calculator here. So there's a the calculator. I can use the calculator, no problem. All right. As I'm multitasking on the website right over here. And while I'm over here, I can do a multi slide screen window. So let's just grab the notes application. So I'm going to grab this with one finger. I can put it right here. I got two windows uh, as a slide over functionality. And with the notes application, I can use the keyboard to type in as I please. No problem. Now let me go for a split screen. I'm going to show you one more thing. Obviously, it's very important. Now that you have a trackpad, it's going to be very easy to select text. So I can grab the text just like this. So I put the cursor where I want to start the selection process. I can put it right here and then press and hold and just select the area. Okay. And then from here, you can use your keyboard, keyboard shortcuts uh, to cut, copy or paste or just go over here to this option, cut, copy, paste. No problem. Now let's go back home. I'm going to swipe up with three fingers. Now, one more thing, if I'm in an application and if I want to access all my windows running in the background, all I have to do is swipe up with three fingers, but don't go all the way, just go up a little bit and let go. And that's going to bring all my windows right here. I can swipe between them if I want to, just like this. All right, just with two fingers. And if I want to get rid of a particular window, I bring the cursor on top of that window and swipe up with two fingers to kill a particular application, as you can see. That's just fantastic. Now, let's say we were using, now the whole point of this is to get rid of uh, touching the actual screen and to convert the iPad to a laptop. So let's say I want to do some real work. Uh, let's just go to iMovie as an example. I'm going to type in iMovie. By the way, again, two fingers down, spotlight search. Then I search for iMovie. And then I go over here and select it and it's going to launch it. Now we're here. Let me just click close on this one. Let's go over here to the living room. All right. Uh, project. And let's say I want to edit this project. This is a uh, movie editor. So again, very easy. Look at that. I can move through the timeline with my fingers. And here's the transition effects that I'm using. I can click on the transition effect and just change it to whatever I want from here. Slide out, dissolve, white, whatever. I can preview it with my fingers. Look at that. I can preview this, no problem. Again, with the cursor, I can access my videos, photos, albums, uh, files from here if I wanted to. I can play. 
okay? I can do everything I want on this application. That's a built-in iPad application. You can expect that the trackpad is gonna work perfectly with all the built-in Apple applications and developers will be updating their apps so the trackpad and the keyboard works flawlessly with their apps over time. So yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I think we covered just about everything. Very easy to use, two fingers or three fingers. So two fingers side to side, all right? Down to bring up the search, three fingers up, all right? Go back to the home screen. You launch an application, again, three fingers up, go up. If you're in an application, you wanna access the your dock, you just go down, all right? You just push the cursor down, boom, pops right up. Again, same with the today screen. You go up, that thing just drops down, and then you get rid of it by going like that. Scrolling is very easy, all right? Just up and down, anywhere that you want. And of course, we've got the pinch to zoom feature. Everything is working nice and easy. The feedback on this thing is very good. Now, this is not a trackpad with a haptic feedback, so when you click it, the noise that it makes, it's a real clicking sound. It's a physical clicking sound. So this is a real trackpad. It is not like a magic trackpad that gives you haptic feedback such as the MacBook Pro or the standalone trackpads. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just let me know. Drop those comments below. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.